Hi guys. To start with, the first thing I want you to do is you should go to keyclock.org. Okay. This is an HTTP based site. So it may ask, uh, depending upon your browser, it may ask you to add some certificates and all those. But uh, it's okay. You can just uh, type this and go to this particular site. Okay. Now, in this site, I will just start you by showing the minimum requirements a uh, key clock will require for you to run and install everything. Okay. So Java 8 is something you need. So what I did is before I started this demo or uh, this particular session, what I did is I have already installed Java in my machine. So I have you can take uh, some version and download the Java part of it. So it can be JDK 1.8 or uh, something above that. So take that JDK. So you should be requiring zip or ggif and tar. So if you are downloading some tar files to extract that or ggif, uh, however you want to extract those files, depending upon what you are downloading, you may require one of this. Okay. So you should have at least 512 of RAM. So that is what you minimum required and at least one GB of disk space. So I think everyone should have this much uh, disk space. Apart from that, uh, one more thing you need to remember, uh, you should be having the Maven installation. So what you need to basically do is after you are installing Java, you need to go to your environment variable section. So you can just type it here. Go to the environment variable check your path it, it, it whether it is in the path or not so you add the java part of it and then if uh, we will be using maven in this particular section so you may need to add a maven also so like that i have al already ad added uh, maven uh, where is that yeah okay so what i need to do is environment system variables and I will go to the environment variables. I will go to Java home. So I have set my Java home. You guys also can set this and check uh, your Java is installed properly. Also uh, check that in the path, you just need to check in your path whether Maven is added. So I have installed Maven. So Apache Maven 3.8.2 is what I have installed depending upon your uh, I mean whatever is available when you are doing this course you can download that particular version of Maven so that if you are running a Maven script at some point you really don't need to be an expert in a Maven at this point in time uh, let me tell you you just need to run some commands and understand those commands to run okay now uh, apart from this um, in the later stage, uh, there are few other things which you need, may need to have to configure. But the basic is you are uh, going to the environmental variable section. You are setting up your Java and box after installing the JDK. And then you are installing your uh, Apache Maven. And uh, uh, how to download that? You can just go to Apache uh, and Maven and till download go to apache maven site 3.8.2 select any of these depending upon how you will be extracting those you can download it the zip file i have downloaded this zip file so you can download it will come it once you click that it will start downloading right you take that you will get that zip you extract that zip file and keep it i will just quickly show you how it will be looking like once you so this is my apache no not this one okay apache maven 3.8.2 uh, which i have downloaded and uh, basically this was the one which i have downloaded from that particular site i've extracted it and then i have set the maven in the path till bin so just now i have shown you maven has been set till okay let me again show you so that there is no confusion because these are the silly things but uh, you know uh, based upon this it may uh, work or it may not work so uh, i think most of you who is working with all this uh, must be knowing so what i have done in the key clock folder path i have downloaded maven just now what i have shown you so 
in key clock path I have downloaded Maven and extracted the Maven over here so this is the extraction path uh, and this is the extraction path okay this Maven when I was right clicking I was doing extract files it had extracted me uh, Maven 3.8.2 and this I have taken and set it in the class path I went to the class path and in the class in the path I have just added by clear clicking new I have added this apart from that what is the other thing I told you to add is your Java so I have installed Java you need to download JDK JDK version 1.8 or onwards just download it set the bin and leave folder so it is uh, executable right so it, it will get Java in the class path it will get Maven in the class path and the path so that's why you need to edit in the system variables add it okay those who don't have a Java they can directly go to the Java and download for Windows you will be downloading this Windows version for Solaris or Mac or any other thing you will be getting in the Oracle site so you can just download depending upon your choice and then set up the environment variables just now what I have shown here okay after you said that what you need to do you have to go to the key clock site you go to download.keyclock.org download.html and there you take the first one key clock distribution powered by wildfly so this is now called wildfly earlier it used to be called as jboss isn't it so you just go to this section and download the zip file you just click on this and it will start downloading the zip file once you download this zip file i will not download it again because i have downloaded that already okay so if i go back what i can show you is this is the key clock which i have downloaded basically you will be getting key clock 15.0.2 okay and after that your extraction you will be getting 15.0.2 inside that all the modules bins docs everything you will be getting this is the first step so first step done now after you do this now how to start the key clock server it's a very simple step what you have to do is you will be going here inside the key clock I will go there I will go inside bin okay so I am inside the key clock inside bin I am just opening a CMD you can open a shell window or depending upon where you are working you will be opening here so if you type here directory you will be seeing some standalone is available right now what you do is you type standalone dot bat okay so what it will do is it will start your key clock server and one more thing while the this is getting up and running remember before you start this you have to check whatever I was telling you earlier I mean you need to check your Java is installed your Java C command is going fine your Maven is fine okay so I have a Maven version of 3.8.2 Java hyphen V E R S I O N Java is up and running once you see these things are already there you just go inside this particular folder of the bin and start the server okay the standalone dot bat so we will be taking a backup of standalone bat later when we will be modifying this or if you have an existing standalone bat make sure if your, st your starting point itself is uh, standalone.bat and you have a wildfly server already in place then make sure that you are uh, taking a back off uh, even before doing anything directly on the server okay now once you have started this 
you have to create an admin account where will you create the admin account you have to now go and you have to now go there we can close this mavens and we can close server installation the download is over but for time being we will keep because there are other things which we may need to download so we'll go to the download section and keep things open i will tell you what needs to be downloaded as and when required just don't download everything all of a sudden wait for uh, the uh, i mean for my instruction while we are going through we'll be downloading according to our requirements now here one more thing i want you to uh, make a uh, change see when you are running key clock you need to understand that wildfly key clock everybody will try to run in the port localhost 8080 because we are doing in the local machine we are not running it into a docker or we are not running anywhere else at the moment our thing is running in the uh, local machine now when i am running it in the local machine it tends to capture the 8080 port now how will i change that port so that later there is no conflict and uh, i i should be able to work with wildfly so why i am saying that is later we will be in a position where you have to install wildfly okay now when you are installing wildfly it will be also trying to occupy this 8080 port so the safer way to come out of this is we will be changing the port okay now how to change that particular port i will give you a command how to do that okay 